Hello everybody, this is Calcium Gaming, and today I'm going to talk about one of the more scary shopping experiences of my lifetime. Um, so right now I just have some Crisis 2 gameplay on the screen, uh, just for something to look at. I know not many people probably care about that, <clears throat> seeing as it's such an old game, and yeah, uh, so my story. Uh, what I'm going to do essentially today is just tell the story um, over gameplay like uh, every other YouTube gaming person does. So I'm going to be normal for once in my life, I guess. Um, Alright, so so the story starts actually today. Um, I went shopping. And I went shopping at a place that is definitely notorious. Um, I don't even, I don't know if it's just my area, but um... But it's notorious for, for drawing in a, a strange crowd. Um, and so, so I, I, with full knowledge of this, I, I decided to go uh, go shopping there anyway. And so I, I get there, and um, I get out of the car and whatever, and I'm walking in. And the one thing I notice, the smell outside when you're walking in, uh, into the main doors, is this, like, pungent tobacco smell. Like, um, like it's the place where everyone goes to smoke. Um, so there's that. Uh, and that's normal. Nothing strange there, at least for this place. So, um, so, so that's a thing. And then I get in, and it's always gen not, it's not so crowded there to the point where it's hard to, like, walk around, but it's definitely crowded enough for it to be semi uncomfortable, usually. Um, but so, and, and the thing that even makes it more crowded, or seem more crowded, is that when you're walking, nobody has a sense of, of like, decency. Like, everyone's just on their own path, and they don't care if they run into you or not, and you're just sort of bobbing and, weave around, bobbing and weaving around people. And, and it's especially hard when you have a shopping cart that's really heavy with stuff. Um, and so that was the case uh, today. So I had this really heavy shopping cart and I was bobbing and weaving around everyone and it was it was just like oh my god, it's 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 dangerous in there. And so um so there I saw a lot of interesting characters and that was what really stood out in my mind as as making this kind of scary. Um the first of which being we were in the produce section and um and I and I was pushing the cart and um, and I saw this guy, and it was like this 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 guy, and he he sort of is walking like he has it's that walk of someone who has something to hide, like if if you know what I mean, it's like um like he's sort of kind of looking around to see if anyone's there, and he's he's walking kind of slow and and not slow but like stealthily I guess, um, and and he turns around like he, he looks towards my direction and I see his eyes are like so red and and it hits me at this point that this guy is shopping while he's stoned <laughs> and he he, he, well, he then like turns around and just briskly walks down the aisle and I didn't see him again um just good so that was the first encounter uh, and then the next one I was I was just walking and I got this like fresh pungent smell of like shit <laughs> and, and and so and there's no like little kids around so it's like somebody in the store near me has just shit themselves and and so i'm i'm just standing there with the cart because because i'm waiting and so i'm standing there with the cart and there's someone who just shit themselves around me and i'm and i can't go anywhere because I, I need my mom to find me again because she was getting something um, off somewhere else in the store and so I was waiting with the cart. So I'm just like standing there like, what do I do? Do I cover my nostrils? Is that disrespectful? Like, I, I don't know. And so, and so that was kind of, that was another thing that was unnerving. This whole experience was unnerving. And so after that, it was in the, uh, it was like some other aisle, I think it was, it was, they had this aisle, and I can't believe no one's complained about this yet, but it's labeled as, like, ethnic foods. Like, it, 
I, that just seems so offensive to me to label something. Like, I know, I know that it is, that's what it is, but d isn't there some other wording other than, I don't know, maybe I just have a negative connotation of ethnic, because I, I hear a lot of people use it in, like, a racist way. Uh, not on a daily basis, but I, I guess that's just what I associate it with. But, so it was in that aisle, and, and there was this woman, and there was, and I'm, and right now, I'm going to get not judgmental, but this is essentially what, this is the feeling, the vibe I got from this woman. This may or may not be true, um, it may be just me being paranoid, but this woman, and I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but it's, it's with somebody and you know there's something off about them. Um, and I've had my fair share of crazy people. I've dealt with quite a few crazy people, and when I say crazy, I mean crazy and and so like like i don't know how anybody to explain it other than crazy but it's like the um just like i got that feeling from her like I, I, there was this uh employee in the way of like uh it was like beans and rice and then she she was like she she looked at him and she was like is there any barley over there like not in that voice but she was i can't I don't know if I can replicate it, but it's like, is there any barley over there? Like, it was, it was monotone. It was a woman, like, a monotone woman's voice, and just, it reminded me so much of this one crazy person I knew. And so she was like, is there any barley over there? Oh, wait, I see it. Ha ha, I'll grab it. And then, like, and then she, she, like, didn't make eye contact with me, but she looked over my way, and when I looked into her eyes, it awoke an unknown fear in my soul, and I was like, I made like this unconscious decision to just look down and and keep going. And so I look down and I keep going, and I see these sodas, and I and they're they're like these um Mexican sodas, and so I was like, I I want some of these, and so I I pulled the cart over and I stopped, and this woman, little did I know, she was going my way, and she she stopped behind me because I was kind of blocking the aisle but she stops behind me and I can feel her eyeballs piercing into the back of my head and like and at this one I was just like oh my god I have to get out of here and so I just grabbed three sodas put them in the cart and I just I, I booked it like I, I <laughs> with a reckless abandon I just got out of there and so I I like that was probably what set me over the edge and then I was like I, I can't oh that I I just and now I'm, I'm assuming that she was crazy and when I say crazy I don't mean like diagnosed with something um, I mean like just personality wise someone who was like I it's crazy that's still the way I can describe it. Um, and so, yeah, that was my experience. I see the, the gameplay's ending right now, so I'm going to have to end it here. Thank you for watching. Um, like if you liked the video. Uh, dislike if you didn't like the video. And if you have time, tell me why in the comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, I, I just also wanted to add at the end of this... Um, this is also the place, it's one of the places that hires, um, like, teenagers as workers, which isn't surprising, knowing the, uh, the place. Um, I wanted to add that this is the place where I'm working on filling out an application for, um, so, you know, that's a thing, and if that falls, and if that comes through and I, I do get a job there, there's gonna be a lot, a lot more stories like this to come, so... If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe because there's going to be some more of these. All right, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support.